It doesn't take much. On my front door stone, a dead frog. It stretched out long, its slender legs mottled green, its belly cream white, a blossom of blood on the stone. How did it get here? Why did it die? It doesn't take much to make me see how little I know about the simplest things. I'll tell you stories, of course, that it was possibly a fisher cat or my, more likely was dropped accidentally by an owl or a startled hawk or a heron. Or is the dead frog an ambassador sent from the wetland world? I lift it gingerly, the frog still limber, no rigor mortis, not yet. And I put it inside a paper bag to take out later for burial. I have a dog with a keen nose. But when I come for it, the paper bag is rustling, jumping, alive. And so I carry the frog far down to the pond's edge and settle it into the shade of the cattails. When death arrives on your doorstep, you think about it. When death turns out to be life, injured life, you're glad and turn back to your own.